there, this is Kit Merker from Noble Mind, and I want to introduce you to the concept of service level objectives or SLOs. What is an SLO? It's a proportion. It takes some sort of event and say how many out of the total set of events were actually valid. And then compare that proportion to some percentage. And we usually talk about that as a number of nines. It could be two nines, two and a half nines, three nines, four nines, etc. You can also have SLOs for latency. Latency is how fast something happened. And in the SLO model, the idea is to say, okay, how many of these events happened faster than a threshold that we set relative to the total events that occurred? The thresholds can be defined based on the user experience. So a very fast response, you might call that a happy experience, and a very slow response, you might call that painful. By looking at these different thresholds across the distribution of events within your system, it gives you a much richer picture of what users are experiencing. When you're defining SLOs, it's very important to do the happiness test. If you have a failure that nobody notices, is it really worth paging somebody in the middle of the night, or can you safely ignore it? If you've ever seen the movie Minority Report, you remember that Tom Cruise can actually predict crimes before they happen. And SLOs let you predict outages before they happen. We track the increased error rate and we watch the slope of errors relative to our error budget. You know that an SLO is at risk and you can have your team respond to it before the outage even occurs. This lets you focus on the outages that will actually impact customers as opposed to responding to every alert that's fired by your monitoring system. There's lots of different types of SLOs and you can translate these into your industry. As a software development team, you have to balance between creating new features and resolving technical debt and SLOs let you do that.